Hi you guys, welcome back to Creatively Crafted Life. My name is Melanie and today is another installment in my 12 Days of Christmas 2021. As you can see, <laughs> my space is getting smaller and smaller to craft in as I proceed with these 12 Days of Christmas. Unfortunately, I am a very messy crafter and especially for something like this where I know I may use multiple products over and over again, I don't tend to put things away. So, just kind of push that out, <laughs> maybe zoom you in a little bit so that you don't have to see that mess. And let's talk about uh, the art journal page that I'm going to be working on today. This is the same journal that I showed previously when I made um, this little layered image. Um, I have on my desk these uh, colorful gnomes. Um, there's a few that are the same um, design, but like one holding the candy cane and one holding lights. And I've got them in different colors. I've also got some sentiments to make cards with. And I thought it's time to try and use at least some of these up. And I thought they would be a cute addition to my little journal. And so I was flipping through the journal trying to see you know if there was anything that jumped out at me and this page here with this green is the same green in the little gnomes and I like this little wooded forest because that's where I figure gnomes live so I'm thinking maybe we can do some sort of um, you know Christmas gathering of gnomes or something on this page I don't know that's what I'm thinking but just flipping through I don't think anything else terribly jumped out of me there there are or there is um, a page here where I've got a couple stickers down that would also sort of work but I think the scale is a little bit off um, well I mean the scales off a little bit look at how big those bunnies are compared to these trees but that might be kind of cute too I don't know what do you guys think Yeah, I'm thinking I'm thinking that first one. That's what I'm feeling anyways. This one would, would be kind of cute. Okay, so let me do a little bit more thinking and I will come back and show you what I'm gonna put together. Okay, so I did a little digging through my stash and I think I've come up with an idea. It's a little more dimension than I would like, but you know, whatever. I'm just gonna go with it. So I picked out two gnomes, one with the lights and one with the candy cane. And I love the trees in the background, as I mentioned before. And so I was looking through my stash and I came across this acrylic um, acrylic tree. Now this is from, I believe, Ellie Studios. And I thought, well, that would be kind of fun to have kind of a little more in the foreground. And this would be the tree he's decorating. So I could kind of layer that up. And... I saw this little tag. Um, it is a chipboard or wood tag, so I can't, it's not chipboard, it's wood, I guess is what I'm trying to say, or MDF board. So I cannot make this thinner, but it is about the same thickness as the acrylic piece anyways, so I think that's okay. And I'm thinking that this would be, you know, the gnome's Christmas tree farm, and that we'll have this guy kind of overlapping that. And then I came across these light bulbs. These are rubber charms. These are from Felicity Jean. And you know how often Christmas tree lots where they sell them, they have like the string of bulbs that kind of, you know, go across. So I thought, how cute would that be if we could string this across like that? And I think that is basically going to be my page. I will need to find a, some sort of sentiment and chances are I'm probably going to use the Tim Holtz um, small talk occasions again because it's just easy but I'm thinking that's where or the direction I'm headed in. So let me glue everything down and I will show you the final results. Okay so here's where the page is at so far. I used some uh, super glue to adhere the acrylic and the wood piece and then I put some foam tape and you know I was so worried about the dimension of this wood piece it's about the same thickness as the foam so all is good 
I wrote the hand wrote messily the name gnomes or the word gnomes on top. I thought that was kind of cute. And I did not plan this at all, but it's just sometimes amazing how these things happen. So in small uh, small talk occasions, I'm going to use the black and there is a sentiment or a phrase here that says over the river and through the woods. How cool is that, right? I mean, totally appropriate for for this page. So I am going to pull that one out and I think I'm just going to tuck this up here just like so. Could also use like Winter Wonderland. That would be kind of fun too. But I think I'm just going to leave it simple with just that one. I think I like that. What I am not overly keen on at the moment is it looks like these gnomes are floating. They have no ground. So I think what I want to do is just see if I can add some white uh, cardstock underneath here. Probably should have done this beforehand. But well, you know, I just didn't think of it. So, no, I'm going to change my mind. This is how my brain works, you guys. Like, I'm all over the place. <laughs> I think I'm going to paint this. I'm just going to apply some acrylic paint on this bottom to kind of sheer out the snowy, falling snow look. I think that would look a little bit better, or at the very least, just kind of paint some ground for them to stand on. I think that's what I'm going to do. So let me go grab some acrylic paint. Okay, so I have some acrylic paint. I'm just going to put a little tiny bit on my brush. And for now, rather than paint the whole thing, because you can always paint more, we can't paint less. I just thought I would test just kind of dabbing it to give them some ground to stand on. And I don't necessarily, I'm not necessarily going for full coverage. I just kind of want them to give, give a little bit of ground. And I think I like that. And I'm just going to kind of fade it out. I don't need it to be perfect. I just want them to look like they're not floating in the air. So let's continue on this one. I started and then I thought I better show you what I'm doing. Spreading that paint out so it's not quite so... Okay, and then I put way too much paint on my... Way too much paint on my palette here. Okay, so I ended up covering the entire foreground and I'm okay with that. I think that looks okay. Um, I did apply some water which did bubble the paper a little bit. Remember this is not like art paper or anything like that. It's just scrapbook paper. But a little bit of texture in this case won't hurt. Okay, so I think this one just needs a little bit of sparkle. Gotta be careful because I got a big blob of white paint here. But I don't want to stick. Well, I already stuck my thumb in it. Did I say I was a messy crafter? Yes, I am a messy crafter. Okay, so let's take some Wink Estella Clear. And I thought what we could do is just kind of over this vellum piece. That's what this is. This is a vellum sheet from. Um, from Webster's Pages way back in the day when they used to do scrapbook papers and stuff. Okay, and then we're just gonna sparkle this page up. I think I like that. And I think we're gonna call this one done. I don't know how well you'll be able to see the sparkle. But that looks good. We're going to go put this aside to dry and that will be it for this installment. Thank you so much for joining me and sticking around till the end and until next time, happy crafting.